Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso in for your daily dose of feel good this morning. You know, Graham, I was just thinking, but geniuses really do exist in real uh -huh. life. It's not just you and I. There are so many of them out there, not just on the big <laughs> screen and the small screen. In fact, we've got one genius here in South Africa by the name of Hilma uh, Raleigh. Uh, he made history when he became the youngest student to enroll at the University of Pretoria at the age of, wait for it, 14. <laughs> enrolled at the university at the age of 14 for a BSc in physics, and he's since completed that degree cum laude. How's that? Oh man, Hilma now joins us on, uh, he's gonna be obviously continuing his studies with BSc honors in, Phoenix, uh, in physics, and the horizons are pretty much infinite for this whiz kid, or rather um, a young man, because he is now a young man, and he connects with us to tell us a little bit more. So good to be seeing you again, my friend. It's been a while. Um, congratulations for everything you've been able to accomplish thus far. A BSc in physics, come louder at the age of 17. How good does that feel, my friend? Great, honestly. <laughs> um, it was sort of unexpected at first, but once I got going, it was, um, it felt really, really great to get it done. Um, yeah. And not just get it done, buddy, I mean, but do it, it brilliantly. Uh, yeah. with, with all of it the was promise. something I, I really wanted to achieve. It, so, yeah, it felt great. And you set your mind and your heart to it. I mean, I remember just when we had the first conversation and I think all of the articles we used to read about you, I think the passion and the drive was always there. Uh, but the question is, does it all come so easily or naturally to you? Or How hard do you, you have, to have, to really work? have to work hard? Yeah. do come easy, but if I didn't have to work hard, there'd be no fun in it. That's sort of the point of doing physics. We answer the difficult questions. Um, I think that, that you've hit the nail on the head, Joe, and, and I'm just so excited as to the, the new discoveries you're gonna be appear, able to be a part of on the trajectory that you're headed. I've gotta ask, because you were so excited about this when we first spoke to you um, some time ago, has it lived up to expectations? Is it scratching that itch? Are you as excited or more excited now about physics and where you can take this? I know you are kind of now looking at the end goal being kind of going quantum in that space. How did it live up to your expectation of what you were getting into? Um, I think by far exceeded it. Wow. Uh, quantum is a really, really, really fun field and um, it's moving fast at the moment, so I've got a chance to be part of something big. Uh, you've got a lot of work out there waiting for you to contribute to the world, but here's the thing. What great minds do you look up to? Because I wonder, yeah. someone like you with a very unique approach and a unique mindset like that, what, you must have like some interesting great minds that you, you sort of tap you. into, yeah. inspires you, yeah. Yeah, um, Richard Feynman and John Prisnell. Um, they were both fantastic, fantastic lecturers. And especially Mr. Feynman was um, considered one of the best physics lecturers of all time. So definitely, definitely someone I look up to. Buddy, I know there are a lot of young people out there either feeling pretty mundane right now <laughs> about their own <laughs> academic achievements, um, but I think a lot more that are, are feeling really inspired by what they can do and have been following your stories. What is the key to success? I know obviously you're a really bright guy, but we have learned on this show that talent only gets you so far. What has been the key to your success thus far? And what advice do you have for other young people wanting to, to follow on that same kind of path? Find something that you really, really love doing. Because if you've got the motivation, you can achieve great, great things. Uh, that's what kept me going. I think if I had studied Something else I would definitely not have done as well as I did. You're, so you're telling me you would have been middle of the class if you had done animal husbandry, for instance. You would have only, <laughs> you would have only kind of been, been mid-scale. I would have failed that. <laughs> Here's the thing. You're 18 years old, and, and really congratulations on your big accomplishment. Uh, I think everybody sitting at home right now is wondering where on earth is this guy going to next? Are you going to be going abroad? Are you going to be studying further? I know that you want to do your honours. Where are you looking at studying that? 
I've already done my honours. Um, I finished it just last year. Of course you have. My oh, okay. masters, well, I'm busy with currently. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to do my doctorate overseas, hopefully, because there's really not much research going on in South Africa at the moment, unfortunately. Um, there's my one here who's done work in this field before, but oh, otherwise, okay. I think I've overseas. Um, buddy, wherever you end up, I know we'll be contacting, uh, con connecting with you and staying connected to your amazing story. You really are an inspiration and you're a lovely young man and I'm just so proud of what you've been able to achieve in the time that we've known you here on the show. So congratulations, massive pat on your back and I know this is only just the beginning. So all the best of luck with the next step in what promises to be an amazing journey, my friend. Thanks so much for taking the time to connect with us this morning. Thank you. Ah, oh, man, all the best on his masters. Now, that's Hamar Rao, the youngest student to enroll at the University of Pretoria at the age of 14. Let that sink in. <laughs> and he's moving on to bigger and brighter opportunities with his academics, and we're certainly going to be watching this space to see where all of that is going. We wish you all of the best.